Hey guys, what's up? This is Ron here and in this King of Fighters All-Star video, we are going to talk about something really important that is how to make your character CP high. And nowadays, high CP characters are really really important because there are certain game modes that requires for you to have high CP characters. For example, if you want to take part in Epic Quest Episode 2 or if you want to play certain stages of Chapter 5, then definitely my friends, you need to have your character CP really really high. So in this video guys, I am going to talk about the 6 tips that you need to know in order to have those high CP characters that you see maybe in some other videos or maybe player, players are posting about them and you feel jealous that why my character CP is so low. So my friends, this video is going to answer to all of your questions and after watching this video, you will know that how to make your character CP high. So make sure you watch this video till the end my friends and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. So let's get into our topic today and to increase the CP of your character, first thing that you keep in your mind, firstly that is the character selection. That means that uh, there are a bunch of type of characters in the game, there are in-game face characters, uh, BS characters, SS characters, collab characters. So there are a lot of characters and you need to know that which type of characters will give you the most amount of CPs. And usually the BS and SS characters are the ones who will give you the most amount of CP. But recently we have a collaboration that is the Data Lab collaboration and those characters have actually broke the record of having CPs. And currently in the game those Data Lab 6 characters are definitely giving you the most amount of CP and this is really really striking. So. Uh, before you invest uh, after any character, make sure that whether this character is going to give you something when it is fully leveled up or developed. Okay, my friends. So make sure you prioritize your character category. The second point that I'm going to talk about is the selection of the right set and option cards. Uh, for example, let me just show you here that this uh, Meliodas right here is having 65,000 and uh, something CP and he is equipped with uh, you know Leo set which is not a bad set card which is a good set card but is this set card appropriate for this type of characters and these option cards are also good but are they appropriate for this character and now I'll show you something that if we switch this character, uh, these cards we KS set and we are having an instant CP bump of 7000 and more. So you need to actually select your perfect uh, option cards and especially the set cards because the set cards matters a lot and so for certain uh, type of characters for example whenever it is a defense type character you should use uh, this set for example this KS set or the Athena set which is uh, available in the SS banner right now these type of sets can be worked will work best with defense type characters and for attack type characters you can actually use uh, Serena set or Arcanist set for balance type characters you can use either Serena set or you know Leia set or Arcanist set anything but for defense type characters you need to use this type of special cards which are going to actually benefit the defense type character a lot. And the third point that I'm going to talk about is the right imprint stones. And by this I mean that imprint stone which will directly benefit your character uh, according to the color, type and the ability of the characters. And you'll see that whenever you're going to match uh, the perfect impin stones uh, to your uh, character uh, that is uh, going to match your uh, character type, color or whatever the requirements are there including the dots. And if it matches everything 
this will increase the CP of the character a lot. For example, let me just unlock this one as you can see 12,000 CP from this one stone right here. 12,000. Let me just equip this once again and see 12,000 CP up and down with just one impin stone my friends and this one matters a lot only because this actually matches all the uh, you know requirements of the character which is definitely important and that actually helped to get a high amount of CP of the characters so the point number four about increasing character CP will be the transcendation of card that means transcending cards and let me just show you that this option card right here is actually going to give you a lot of CPs because this card is actually you know transcended and it is matching the ability of my character and this character it is paired uh, it is equipped in ignis and ignis is a balanced type character and let's see what makes what how much difference it's going to make and if you unlock this we are losing 3000 cps but if we equip any for example any uh you know non transcend or low transcend cards See, we had less amount of CP added. But we, if we equip this high transcended card, then see, we are getting 1000 more extra CP. And of course, this is a, a you know, low quality card. So, uh, you know, the CP defense will not be very much. But this type of card right here, let's unlock this. We are losing 15,000 CPs. So 15,000 CP matters a lot. So if we equip some same card which is not transcended, it will give you 13,000 CP, which is not bad, but we can actually get two or 3,000 more CP when we can actually, you know, awaken or transcend these cards. See that? 1031 CPs along with all those stat buffs and everything that you might need and this thing is also applicable to the set cards and uh, you know special cards as well so transcending can be a great way to increase your character CP but remember the, remember the fact that it is uh, not going to be an easy process because uh, to get the right effects you need to transcend the character multiple times and it needs a lot of resources so this is these are the things that you need to keep in your mind depending on the stock of your inventory and everything so point number five to increase cp of your characters and that will be playing the absolute war and if you play absolute war as you can see that there is a certain icon here and it says that the maximum level is 600 and i have reached level 31 and what does it mean and it actually means that the increase of your stats and whenever you will use this uh, uh, type of uh, you know medals it can be of uh, gold uh, silver or bronze it doesn't matter but the gold ones are most effective ones and whenever you, 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 you are going to use this type of things you can actually enhance these uh, penetration, attack, HP, defense or everything of different colors for example I just enhance this uh, penetration of these blue characters so all of the blue characters of, my, of the game in all PvE mood will enjoy this feature and this will result into increasing of their cps to a great amount my friends this will really help and also the increase of stat is going to support a lot 
so make sure you play this chapter 5 uh, or absolute absolute war thing every day and get those coins uh, or those medals as much as possible and one thing i actually forgot to mention that uh, i should have talked about in the imprint stone section that these star and moon imprint stones are actually makes a big difference my friends big difference in terms of cp let me just unequip this one and show you 8000 cp is gone okay so this is not a joke and of course whenever you are going to have this type of uh, star and moon in pin stones which actually you know are uh, you know aligned with the dots and the abilities of the character so they are going to help be eventually more helpful see this type of relevant imprint stones uh, star and moon imprint stones will give you a lot of cps my friends so make sure that you play that chapter of fight every day and and farm materials for these uh, star and moon imprint stones because uh, this is kind of an rng and you need to actually craft a lot of stones to get the right ones and my friends the right ones will give you the most amount of cps other than random uh, you know star and more imprint stones with random effects the next option to increase character cp will be getting the codex bonus and let's go to our codex here and as you can see there are three types of codex here fighter battle card and gallery and we are mainly focusing on the fighter codex here and let's check it out and as you can see these red dots here that means that we are having some awards and uh, these uh, rewards uh, codex rewards you, you can get by actually leveling up these characters for example when, whenever you level any character to level 30 normal level 30 not awaken just normal level 30 then you will get certain bonus then when you level him or her to level 60 you will get another bonus and finally when you level them up to level 90 you will get another bonus so let's check out rewards and here you can see that uh, a lot of uh, rewards right here and I have actually uh, leveled up these characters from different uh, more, most of them are uh, you know silver or co uh, gold or you know bronze war characters but still they are giving me this uh, valuable codex reward and let me just claim this and you see that my stats have increased from 2129 to 2197 it's not really a big bump but still slowly uh, we keep uh, increasing the codex bonus by recruiting more characters and leveling them up so in that way uh, actually we can get a lot of uh, extra bonus on our characters and combat power actual uh, as well because those codex are going to uh, increase the stats of uh, our characters and eventually the combat power or CP will also be increased and this is why uh, uh, veterans or who, uh, players who have already got all the characters in the game uh, leveled up and uh, playing for a long time and uh, you know these type of things they enjoy a lot of codex uh, bonus uh, for example in my account is currently on 2000 and uh, for example i can say in four goals account he's enjoying uh, about, about uh, eight uh, thousand or something like that of uh, of codex bonus uh, in his well account that is uh, around 400 level or so so this is the difference that i am trying to show that this uh, co uh, codex bonus make, makes actually a big difference uh, whenever you are talking about cp so these were the tips uh, that you can apply to your characters to increase the combat power or CP of the characters and uh, uh, make them uh, uh, able to play in higher game modes. So I hope you have understood the procedures and the tips and everything I talked about. If you have any questions regarding this, please let me know in the comments and I'll be so happy to answer them. So 
and that's about it guys uh, i hope this video was informative to you so please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already so hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome stay safe and peace out my friends